Grafton streets of Wonderland, there's magic in the air. Well, that's uh, how the song, Noel Purcell's song, went. And indeed, there is uh, an element of magic about Grafton Street these days. It has now been pedestrianised, of course, and young people are coming into Grafton Street and they're demonstrating their musical talents, their mime talents, much to the enjoyment of the casual passerby. But it is against the law. It is a solid piece of wood which responds to gravity. Do a couple of flips. And now with one stick. This is called the Taiwan Twister, but since we no longer recognize Taiwan, it's now the Peking Pinwheel. Pella, it's called a corkscrew. days in the week now would you spend here in Grafton Street? Three days a week. And and how much time of the day would you spend here? Three hours. Any particular time? Lunch time. And how about the guards? Do they bother you? Sometimes. The guards is very nice actually as individuals, but it's the law that's wrong. Where did you develop the character? And um, Are you involved in the theatre? Or... No. I'm 23. And for 23 years I've been a clown. And someone just says to me, you know, why don't you make money doing what comes natural to you? So then I've done this. And are you making money? I make enough to get by, just barely. Do you think you brighten up people's oh, lives? Oh, yeah. They brightens this place up, you know. And, like, there's always this thing about um, Dublin, you know, land of Joyce, you know, and the whole thing, you know. And, like, where is the art, you know, in the streets of Dublin, you know? When you come here, what's going on? There's not much happening. It's nice Grafton Street's pedestrian now. I was it could be one of the that. major streets in Europe. Yeah, that's lovely. Will I give you back your flowers? Yeah, you can have them. Are you sure? Take them to your wife. <laughs> Thank you. The unwary citizenry of Dublin are becoming more and more aware of the fact that there is an addition to the statuary of their fair city. And here he is. He's alive. He's elegant. And he's exotic. And he's becoming quite a tourist attraction. And like so many of the things that work best in this country, he's also a foreign import. He's known as the Dice Man. He's Scottish. And his real name is Tom McGinty. I love a, a mile outside Spiddle, up the hill. So every kind of weekend, I trot down the Boreen, stick my thumb out, hitch into Galway, and get a train up to Dublin. And spend about an hour putting on the makeup. Let's see some of your facial expressions then. Have a bit, bit of passion. <laughs> Do you use the passionate uh, expression uh, on the ladies? <laughs> Ah, uh, well, you know, there's different ways of kind of winking at them, you know. There's kind of warmer winks and colder winks, you know. That's generally all they get, a wink, you know, unless they kind of blow you a kiss and then you kind of give them a wee kiss back, you know. Do you get any funny comments from them? Oh, yeah, you know, the people standing there for ages and, like, kind of one will say to the other, 
you know, there's something living in that, you know? You just kind of think you're actually kind of, you know, you do think you're a statue at times, you know? It's quite weird, you know? Even when they touch you at times, they're still not too sure. And do the crowds invariably gather? Uh, invariably they do, yeah, yeah. I don't know what the fascination is for it, you know, but the stillness seems to kind of fixate and kind of hypnotise people. But, you know, like, you know, they're standing there sitting, wondering why, how you've been so still, but they're actually been just as still, you know? I don't know, but I mean, people just like to look, like to gawk at something. So know? you're gawking back at them, Yeah, really? yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like that there's people saying, God, you know, look at all those people doing, standing doing nothing, watching the guy standing doing nothing. Mm. Do you ever get self-conscious at all? I know, I, I think I'm a, a born exhibitionist, you know, so that kind of uh, covers me that way. <laughs> How do the innocent citizens of Dublin react to you? Uh, all sorts of different ways. Most of them nice, some of them not so nice, you know. Uh, like, it's great giving people a, a, a bit of a laugh, you know, they all kind of wink, you know, and kind of shocking them a bit, you know. But uh, sometimes they get nasty, you know, and stick pins into you and bang plastic bags behind your ear, you know, tickle you, uh, and a few other rude things they can't mention, you know. Can I see what's on your frock? <laughs> Come on, smile a while. Aye, see what? Mind your hands, Steve. 